Hello friends, I am Dr. Anupma Goel. I am working as a lecturer in Biani College of Science and Management, Kalwar, in the subject Botany. Today I will deliver my lecture on Oscillatoria, which is blue-green algae. And now I welcome you all on behalf of Rue KPU. So my friends, as you all know, Oscillatoria is a planktonic species. For example, Oscillatoria prolifica. Some of the species of Oscillatoria are found growing in rainwater pools, ponds, streams, lakes and even in polluted water and some of the species of oscillatoria these are growing in the saline water for example oscillatoria limosa and some of the species of oscillatoria are growing in the hot water springs known as oscillatoria terribly formis and some of the species these are forming blooms on the surface of the temporary pools and ponds now friends i move towards the trichome as you see in the diagram well, the trichome is filamentous and unbranched structure. It consists of a group of cells which are arranged in unicellular fashions. These cells are similar in shape and structure. So, my friends, the interior end of the trichome shows a distinct polarity. The interior end of the trichome shows a distinct polarity and the free end of the trichome may be convex or it may be rounded or it may be acuminate as in oscillatoria acuminata or it may be discoid as in oscillatoria prolificus. Now friends, I move towards the cell structure that is the ultra structure. Well, the cell wall lies external to the plasma lemma as is clear from the diagram and the cell wall is made up of four layers L1 layer, L2 layers, L3 and the L4 layers L1 and the L2 layers are electron transparent whereas the L3 and the L4 layers are electron opaque and so my friends these cell wall layers are composed of mucopeptide, polysaccharides, amino acids and fatty acids now as you see in the diagram the protoplast is differentiated into a into an outer pigmented chromoplast and an inner centroplast. This chromoplast contains several thylakoids as are seen in the diagram. These thylakoids are the laminate structure. On the surface of these thylakoids are present photosynthetic pigments and these pigments help the alga oscillatoria in performing the function of photosynthesis. Now I move towards the gas vacuoles or the gas vesicles which are also lying in the chromoplasm. These gas vesicles help the alga in providing BUNC and these are formed at a low light intensity. So my dear friends, now I move towards the centroplasm which contains many angular polyhedral bodies. These polyhedral bodies store carboxysomes which contain carbon dioxide fixing enzyme that is ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate and many polyphosphate bodies are also found to occur in the centroplasm. So in actively photosynthesizing forms of oscillatoria many polyglucan granules are also found to occur between the thylakoids. Now the central region of the cell consists of the nuclear material and this is called as the nucleoplasm. Now friends I move towards the Gaduko phenomenon. What is Gaduko phenomenon? Well some of the species of oscillatoria they assume different shades when they are provided with light of different wavelengths means some of the oscillatoria species assume green color when they are provided with red light or when they are provided with reddish blue light these is, this is known as chromatic adaptations now i move towards the movements shown by the oscillatoria there are two types of movements these are the gliding movements as well as the oscillatory movement. In oscillatory movement, the trichome moves to and fro like the pendulum of a watch. Whereas in gliding movement, the trichome shows rhythmic contractions on a solid substratum without the help of any visible organ. Now I move towards the nutrition. Well, the main pigment in this alga oscillatoria is chlorophyll A and the accessory pigments are C-phycosinin and C-phycoerythrin. 
these pigments they trap the solar energy and then they convert the starch into cyanocyanin starch now i am summing up my lecture by moving towards reproduction well friends as all of you are well aware during the vegetative growth of the trichome some of the cells of the trichome get filled up with mucilage and these cells become dead these cells are called as nekridia and now these de these dead cells they lose their turgidness and due to the pressure of the transverse walls of the adjacent cells these cells become biconvex and these are called as a separation disk now friends the cells between the two nekridia they function as a hormogonium now these hormogonium show the movement and by repeated cell divisions the hormogonium forms the new trichome now the last part is fragmentation when the trichome breaks into several pieces due to the insect bite or due to the mechanical injury and these and these fragments give rise to long cylindrical trichomes or filaments on the arrival of favorable conditions so my dear friends thank you thank you thank you for more details kindly log on to my website www.grukpo.com